Well, it was a 20 year sentence out of a possible 40 years in prison. Hendren sat in court with his head down for most of the proceedings. His name on her necklace, Lorena Frusciante, carries a picture of the happiest moment of her life, the birth of her son, 16-year-old Vincent Basile. My son's the kind of kid that would have been like, Mom, try to forgive, but I can't. Killed in 2017 by this man, 20-year-old Noah Hendren. Frusciante says the world of a grieving parent is a different one. Everything's Merry Christmas, Happy Birthday. New, happy New Year, everything is happy, good morning. All those things do not apply to grieving parents. It's forever changed. On this day, Hendren learned his fate 20 years in prison. It's not enough justice at all. This is like a slap in the face. But not before Hendren delivered a remorseful message. I'll remain sober. I'll try my best to work to repay my debt to society. It was on a November night in 2017 when Hendren intentionally shot Basile, his Weathersfield High School classmate, while showing off a gun. In the days that followed, Hendren tried to pin the crime on others and threw the gun in a storm drain. My actions were stupid. They were juvenile. And I was not thinking. If I could go back and change them, I would. Inside the courtroom, the culmination of years of grief poured out in emotional victim impact statements. I had an awful feeling that moment. And even told him, I felt something terrible was going to happen. And outside the courthouse, we spoke to Hendren's attorney. I have no reason to think that he's not remorseful. He certainly should be, and he should be grateful to this judge. And his attorney told me that he would advise his client not to file for an appeal. He says he's happy with the 20 year sentence. Hendren has already served two years of that time, and he will likely be eligible for parole in his early 30s. We're live in New Britain. Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.